Small wind turbines for residential use could be useful for off-grid life. A 15 kilowatt hour peak solar system that can power an entire house during the sunny season produces only a quarter of the energy during the winter, which is where modest wind turbines may help. Wind turbine seasons are asynchronous to PV systems. When the sun does not shine as brightly in winter, Europe becomes statistically windier, which is also reflected in other regions with similar climatic conditions. Several businesses have already noticed this potential for off-grid consumers and have produced small wind turbines for household use, as they can play an important role in addition to or fully replacing solar panels. Scanwind developed a small wind turbine constructed in Germany that generates power at a wind speed of 4 meters per second and gives a peak output of 1,000 watts practically softly. With an average wind speed of 6 meters per second, a single turbine can produce over 1,000 kilowatt hours per year. However, companies such as Flower Turbines and Power Collective, with their wind flower and ridge blade rooftop turbines, have highly fascinating concepts for residential users to create 220% more energy from wind power. That is why we took a deeper look at respectable companies' tiny wind turbines and will assess them with you today to determine whether an investment in 2023 is worthwhile for residential users. First, is your area windy enough for a rooftop wind turbine? The wind conditions in your location are the most significant consideration when shopping for an off-grid wind turbine. Looking at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory's wind map, we can see that the midsection of the United States has the greatest available average wind speeds, making it ideal for wind energy. Fortunately, we live in the internet age, and we can use windy.com to track real-time wind speeds everywhere in the world. Their thorough real-time readings show that the wind speed is currently between 8 and 17 knots, or 9 to 20 miles per hour throughout several sections of the Midwest down to Texas. Wind speeds of up to 30 knots have been recorded in some regions, and a wind turbine would make perfect sense in those situations. But if it were that simple, why aren't there wind turbines for homes everywhere? Scalewind introduced one that, at only 20 kilograms, could literally be installed on any rooftop. The rotors are composed of aviation aluminum, which makes them light but strong. Conventional rotors are unnecessarily complex in the manufacturing process. Wind turbines for residences, on the other hand, must be as inexpensive as feasible in order to be competitive. As a result, the rotors are bent at precisely the appropriate angle and at precisely the right location to generate an aerodynamic profile. They also have a unique trait in that they only have two rotor blades with wingtips at the end, similar to airplanes. They improve efficiency while decreasing noise. Small turbines operate in the same way that industrial turbines do. When the wind blows, the kinetic wind energy is turned into mechanical energy, which is then converted into electricity with the help of an integrated generator. It features an incorporated automated switch-off system to prevent the turbines from overloading and damaging themselves during a storm. Scanwind's design is patented, giving it the world's only micro-wind power system with a guaranteed performance curve. Because the entire system costs up to 3,000 euros, the generated electricity price is 30 cents at a wind speed of 4 meters per second. It drops to 14 cents at 5 meters per second. The average American household's yearly electricity use is 10,000 kilowatt hours. Therefore, 10 of these 1 kilowatt hour turbines are required to provide the energy requirement, resulting in a $30,000 investment. However, these devices should be used in conjunction with solar panels to generate electricity, even in inclement weather. So, is this mini wind turbine really the best way to generate wind energy at home? What about vertical wind turbines? Flower Turbines has introduced a highly interesting project, vertical wind turbines that come in three sizes. The wind flower begins to generate power at 0.7 meters per second or 1.5 miles per hour of wind speed. It is a really attractive option, and the smallest form is designed for residential users, weighing only 18 kilograms. The manufacturer also stated that the flower turbines are not installed alone. If at least three turbines are put, each flower turbine becomes 20% more efficient. And if more than five turbines are installed, each becomes 50% more efficient. This is owing to the resultant air turbulence and suction produced by the flower turbine. At a wind speed of 5 meters, 
five tiny turbines create 1,300 kilowatt hours of electricity every year. However, the buying price per turbine is $3,500. The five turbines would thus cost around $15,000, with 1,300 kilowatt hours of electricity produced every year. The flower turbine would pay for itself in 30 years, although that is merely an estimate. A 1 to 2% annual maintenance expense must also be paid. Ridge Blade Power Collective The Ridge Blade is the company's most fascinating home wind turbine. The Ridgeblade turbocharged wind turbine from Power Collective must be placed on the rooftop using two mounting rails. It is a safe installation because the turbine is positioned on rails. The unique aspect of this design is that it fully utilizes a regular pitched roof shape. Ridgeblade takes advantage of the available space on a sloped roof and binds the force of the wind by utilizing the Aeolian wind concentration effect. This has a significant multiplier effect on the production of power. This wind turbine with a 45 degree roof pitch can produce 220% more electricity at the same wind speeds. The ridge blade does not have to be halted during a storm since the distance between the rotor blades causes flow separation and torque loss at high wind speeds. This is how the ridge blade can survive speeds of over 100 miles per hour and generate power even during a storm whereas conventional wind turbines fail and must be shut down. The design allows it to blend in with the house's design and has the least visual impact. The free roof area can also be used for solar panels, making it the ideal combination for an off-grid self-sufficient residence. This roof, for example, is made up of seven RB1s and generates 5,000 kilowatt hours per year at a wind speed of five meters per second. In Europe, two architecture firms, one in Italy and one in France, are already preparing in-house designs using RB1 turbines. Unfortunately, we were unable to locate a price for the smaller home wind turbine, the RB1, but as the device approaches mainstream acceptance, more information will undoubtedly become available. So, if you're interested in learning more about the Ridge Blade or other home turbines, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell symbol so you don't miss out on any new videos. Meanwhile, you can see how you may use your solar panel to create electricity at night by upgrading it with a simple application.